Hi, I'm Rosie. Yay, I'm back on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. We are looking to what's going on intuitively in the world from the political to the personal. I have a Patreon channel linked below and I do personal readings. I want to tell you all about my new class, Mastering Lenormand with Rosie. The class starts on October 20th. Learn Lenormand at your own pace. Sign up at rosieinsights.com. Over eight weeks, 16 lessons, live Q&A videos answering any and all of your questions, and lifetime access. Sign up by Sunday, October 6th for the early bird special, only $99. We learn all about Lenormand, where it comes from, the meaning of the cards, how to combine cards, going over all the different spreads that are commonly used until we get to the famous Grand Tableau. And you will learn all the simple and the basic and advanced techniques for interpreting Grand Tableau. At the end of the class, you'll be able to do personal readings for yourself and others. Welcome to my class. I hope you join us. Thank you. Okay, so I just wanted to share this audio that I recorded of my conversation with Karina. And uh, we talk often and uh, on this time that we talked, I decided, I asked that we go to to see what's going on in a, a year ahead. Because we're going through such, you know, it's so intense, right? What we're going through. So, so, so that's the conversation. It's relatively short. But I thought it, it gives a lot of really interesting information about what is likely to happen, what could happen. Because we now it's so intense what we're living, but next year will be really about so much getting getting exposed, justice, and so forth. So I just wanted to share because I find that in when times of a lot of intensity, looking forward is helpful. Okay, all right. So so enjoy. And again, it's just an audio. There's no video. Okay, all right. See you soon. So let's see. So okay, let's go October uh seventh, twenty twenty five. What is going on? What is what does the world feel like, especially the Middle East, right? Where the, I think most of the tension is at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's in, in, in America also because of the elections and also Elon Musk, because I think I feel like he is kind of the goblin of yeah the moment. Okay, so yeah, yeah, he almost looks like what the uh, what are the Antichrist? That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. That's what he came to my mind when I saw that picture. Yes, okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so interesting, Brent. I, I don't know. Yeah, interesting. Can I, do I, okay, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. Or. Yeah, you know, it's very interesting because it was, it was almost like a scene. Okay, first of all, I saw, you know, I get movie scenes. So that movie, the scene in, I don't know if you know it, but it's in one of the Indiana Jones movies, 
I forget which one, but where he opens the tomb and his face melts. Like we're fighting that force and like that has melted, like all of that has melted away um, after the election. And then going into next year, it's almost like I saw the, the scenes from North Carolina with the mud and all the destruction. And I don't know if you've seen any of those scenes, but they're horrific. Yeah. Yes. And that's what it looked like all over the world. Like wow. every country was cleaning up, but like they're cleaning up the shambles of the mess that was left behind. Wow. So, and it was all over, but it was also light and sunny and bright and light the energy was joyful and the evil was gone the evil was gone and justice was happening like justice felt very strong justice felt very strong finally finally like you know and i'm getting chills again and the my, my body's vibing if the the tides have turned the coin has flipped the shift has happened it is going into times of justice and things to be done right but there is a big shit mess to clean up everywhere and there still might be some conflicts but it's nothing like we are are we're we're we are going to learn that we were on the brink of disaster okay and so everybody, it's almost like I see everybody coming out of this stupor, like, wow, we just survived this kind of feeling. Like, I don't know, pretty big, but in not in a bad way. Yeah, so, wow, yeah, no, interesting. So, so, okay, let me know when you're done. Karina. Yeah. Okay, so, okay, so that uh, it was interesting. I saw that. Um, uh, okay. So I saw this for some reason. I saw this image of, of Elon Musk, but I think it has to do also with the Middle East and BB. This bomb crater that they were now like it's funny you're saying the cleanup. Like people finally get to see the bomb craters, and everybody, not everybody, people are in there like with a magnifying glass looking at the almost like you know i also saw the baby's gone elon musk is gone but there's the bomb crater is signifies their like their damage not necessarily just a bomb but the damage they've done to the world and i see like a con congress hearing yeah. about elon musk mess and i see Kama saying something like comparing him to bernie madoff and uh and so and the whole thing it shows that it's exposed like people are now finally are able to get close to the explosion scene to see to to examine it and then i saw also that for some reason i think doing it, this vision i was asking like so where are, i guess where, where are they or what happened to these the bad people i guess related to the elections and it said that and it shows me that that everything is being exposed about what especially Elon musk was doing behind the scenes and that as everything is exposed then those people lose their their like how do you say it? Their gut, not it's something like their courage is gone because they yeah. were what was motivating them was the darkness. So they could the do that behind the scenes without anybody noticing. And now that everything is exposed, they're suddenly motionless. They can't do, they don't want to do anything. And they yeah. become careful. It's saying that the timing has changed and then and I see that it's like again, yeah, it shows me this giant bomb crater, meaning like everything they've done now it's so in, in other words like i guess whenever i look forward you always not that not that i was hyper conscious of but i kind of knew that i want to you know want to see something good right mm -hmm. that's not necessarily what i picked up it, what i picked up was this with was like you said exactly the the first stage of the cleanup yeah of like collecting it, it shows me like uh fingerprints but not real fingerprints but more like the finger all the things they've done Finally, they come out to the world and people are seeing it. Exactly. Like, wow. Exactly. And then I see that Elon Musk's face like very immobile. Like he not, he's not acting out anymore. He's just there like silent. And everybody, oh, and I even see that guy, you know, the 
the one that I did the, the whistleblower thing for about like having to testify also mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all these things like everything everything's being exposed that's right it's saying that they can't they can't they can't prevent it from come it's not just coming out but it's out in there i do see this congressional hearings and i see colin harris making a statement about it I, you know for some reason oh i also see jack smith being very like prominent and he will have indicted not just indicted, indicted he has already indicted but like I think some of the, the trials are wrapping up mm -hmm. oh, because mm -hmm. it was a long time anyway, even if it's right. Like, yeah, yeah. Take a while. Yeah. And, and he gets Trump convicted. But by the time I feel like it's a, it tells me by the time it actually comes to pass, it's a no brainer. There's no, it's like not, it's a non question. Exactly. And, and then because and, everything will have been exposed and, you know what? It's one of those things where, you know how I always say, I don't, I stay away from it because I don't want to see it. This is one of those things in our time. You can't look away. Everybody is going to be forced to see it all. And that's where the change happens and when. And that's what, that's what exactly. I see the same thing you do for going into that. It's like, that's why it's almost like they're, people are coming out of the stupor like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, oh, my God, I'm getting chills on my whole body again. I'm freezing talking about this stuff. But that's exactly it is. And, you know, it is a mess, a mess, a mess to clean up. Right. And I see that it's, like, so big and so huge and, like, but so I do see that for some reason I saw that Jack Smith getting bigger. I don't know if Kamala will have. I mean, I could even see him becoming the head of, of yeah, something, the, 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 or J I, something. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought of that too. Uh, so, yeah. but it's yeah. so it, it just shows me that he's giving interviews about explaining what happened. But I see that it's a different vibe where like. And you know, okay. It, oh, interesting. Now it's showing me Corona also. You know, the whole thing is interesting. I talked about, you know, I talked to him in the, in the live stream. Then I made it public, um, I think yesterday or today or something, about the you know the Diddy and Elon Musk connection, the kids. And I see that people are like shocked about like, oh my God, look at the abuse. But it's saying the only way to get rid of it is to expose it. They would, and I see that the, the men saying kind of like in their minds thinking oh, we would have done it unless. It was just because somebody we got caught that we stopped. Exactly. Saying that it's not like you would would you would have continued if nobody had like exactly. It's like a cheating husband. They don't or a wife. They don't. They're never sorry till they get caught. That's right. That's right. That's right. So that's so I see that it's interesting. When I guess I was expecting us to be like, oh my god, I'm so happy. No, it's like truth hurts. I mean, it's better than lies, but it's that moment we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. That yeah. feeling. So. Because we're all being forced. That's it's right. like we're being forced fed reality and truth. And there's going to be a lot of people that can't handle reality and truth. Yes. Wow. Or have, wouldn't believe it or even attempt to see it. Wow. You know, wow. but that's what it is. We're being, that's, you know, another thing. We're being forced into seeing the truth right now. Mm -hmm. and that's what's so scary oh and it's interesting he's showing me for some reason showing me bb and people are shocked at everything but then he shows me also like almost like a chain or a rope and it's like it shows me that people are shocked but then they have to follow this chain and it saw the people that have enabled him and yep. all ways that the, he was enabled and it's it's not to obviously to to say that he's not guilty but he is guilty but that he would not have done it if it wasn't for all the people and it's like hundreds and thousands of people i don't know that enabled this and how exactly. the whole system like failed you know what i mean not just the system but every single person that contributed like the success was was a translation of the interest of many people it wasn't just him Exactly. So, and Rosie, that is playing out all over the world in every situation. You know, it, Trump wouldn't have gotten away with all this shit if he didn't have all the people enabling him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, Secret Service let him get away with this. His aides let him get away with it. Everybody that was around him let him get away with this shit. 
Mm-hmm. And that's in every situation. It's the same thing. You know, it's just different players. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's in our face right now. We are having to clean up all over the world. It's not, this is a global thing. Massively global. In every in every industry, I mean, think about it. It's like we said everything was going to come crumbling down. I mean, look at it. It's it's at the brink of coming crumbling down, and it, it has to. Wow! Wow! Yeah! Wow! Yeah! No, it's um, uh, it's fascinating. It's fascinating like how that is so but it feels very it feels real by the way Queen is so okay then we'll, we'll go to it for ourselves but I was wondering I almost kind of want to share this like just as part of the recording with the world because I think it's so interesting absolutely absolutely okay. that's it, it, you know that's when I said I would never want to tell you what to do or anything but spirit is kind of like saying you know mm-hmm. maybe help them that way this way maybe make them understand that's right. That th- these are faded times, mm-hmm. and it's you know, you can see the consistency in the events. Yes, yes. You know, if you really, really look at it, you can see the consistency in the events all over the world. And so, until we face it, acknowledge it, mm-hmm. deal mm-hmm. with the problem, we're going to keep facing it. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow. Yeah. Good. That's good. Good. I feel, yeah. You know. I feel lighter already like uh this conversation oh, yeah. is it it's like oh, too. lifted a lot of things like it's yeah yeah okay well you know what Rosie it's interesting as I'm learning my own self about me with what I get I've come to the realization that when I get to the point where I feel like I, I need to talk to you I need to get this off my chest I need to blah, 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 blah. And I'm all wired like that. That is a spiritual channeling kind of thing. (laughs) Because that's not me. It's Mm -hmm. me trying to get something out. Like I need to get something out of me. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, So now do you want to do, let's do, do you want to do.